Hmm? Don't you like shadows? Don't I like shadows? Yeah. I love shadows. I yeah. think it's a, it's a terrific film. I, it has so much more going for it than a lot of other films because it was a film about uh, uh, young people. And young people are so much easier to talk about than older people because young people are willing to express themselves and take chances and lose and, and, and get killed. They can r race cars or they could, uh, um, they, could find, they can find love in things and they can find hatred in things and all their terms are absolute. So they're easy to talk about. A middle-aged person is not easy to talk about because he doesn't know himself. He'll change from one moment to the next. Uh, we don't even know what changes a middle-aged person. I mean, it may be a mood, it may be something that happened 10 years ago or something that will happen 10 years from now when he dies. <laughs> you know? But we don't, we don't know, so it's much more difficult. Ready? Make the announcement. Girls, the Happiness Boys singing Up on the Moonbeam. Girls, the Happiness Boys. Up on the Moonbeam. Up moon on the Moonbeam. Do it. Up on the Moonbeam. <laughs> Up on the Moonbeam. Moon moon Do it. Up on the Moonbeam. Up on the Moonbeam. Hit it, boys. What makes my head go round and round <laughs> while my heart stands still? <laughs> hey, Miss Matt. Oh, hey, Betty. Hey, what's going on? Take it easy. Take it easy. Leave him alone. Get out. 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 Get what do you mean we just came in here with Clown Around. Clown Around? Well, go Clown Around somewhere else, huh, buddy? Well, take We're it with easy. Right? 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shut, Shut up, up, punk. Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean, take it easy? Well, I mean, take it easy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, wait, 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 wait,
But I'm very stubborn. And uh, Nico Papadakis, who helped us make the film, was very stubborn. And I said, how much money do you have, Nico? And he said, I have $2,000. I can get it from France and uh, maybe it'll take a week. I said, fine, sign the check. <laughs> and I raised $13,000 the next day. And we started shooting again. And we shot for 10 days. And the result of the film was the final version of, of uh, Shadows. Now, a lot of film buffs heard about the two versions of Shadows. Yeah. So they said, we want to see the first version, which was the great version of Shadows. <laughs> it didn't matter to them that it was an absolute disaster. So we showed that first version of Shadows. And they championed it. They thought it was great. Now, rumors spread that I had made the film for distribution. <laughs> and that because I... Uh, 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 we had uh, gone back to make it more commercial, but the film was, in my opinion, always will be. The other version exists, and uh, outside of one screening that we had, the film was allowed to be shown at any time, and, and the, the version exists. But uh, the second version of Shadows was m much deeper, and I think the greatest scenes in it, I mean, the best scenes in the film were, were shot in the reshooting in a 10-day period, which has to tell you something, because it took us four months to shoot the other version. And... Uh, uh, it was quite different with shadow, with faces. Faces was a, an entirely different uh, thing. This was now nine years later, eight years later. Uh, we had all grown a little older, a little more mature. It's not as easy to jump in as you were telling me before. You could. Uh, it would be difficult to go back to the beginnings. But sometimes it's necessary for your own sanity to go back to the beginning, go back to where you started from and find out whether you really have it or you don't have it, or whether there really is something to say or, n or not. And when we started this film, none of us really had very much to say. And now, uh, here it, it took us three, over three years to make faces, and at the end of the film, we have many things to say. So uh, it, it only shows that, uh, uh, that creativity, that solid creativity, no matter what it is, creates more things, more ideas. It doesn't dissipate itself in, in one. Uh, we went through that film, and, and, and uh, Jenna uh, was my wife, was in the film. She was pregnant during the film, and uh, it was difficult. And uh, our other leading lady was pregnant during the film, so that was difficult. And since we finished the film, uh, the, the other girl, Lynn Carlin, had two children from the day that we finished the film until the completion of the editing of the film. <laughs> and many things happened on that film. For instance, I wrote a first draft, and the first draft was 200 pages long, 265 pages long, and it was only halfway completed. And we filmed it. And we decided that we'd film if it would take 10 hours, the film, that that's the film that we were going to make. And that was the film that we were happy with. So we filmed it and filmed it and filmed it and filmed it and shot for six months on that film. And people, it became a, a more, more than just a film, it became a way of life. It became a, a, a feeling against the authority that, that stood you know, in the way of, uh, of, of, um, of people expressing themselves as they wanted to express themselves. And it became a thing that we can do that in America. We can do that without money in America. We can. We started that film with ten thousand dollars. That film has cost over two hundred, well over two hundred thousand dollars. 